Well, we've been looking around this woodland yeah. that has been recommended to us. That's a bit chunky, but isn't it? And I think we've come across an old site of interest. The more I look, the more worm sign I can see. So we're going to have a little look around here and see what we can find. Look. There we go. Dates found. Definitely worm sign here. So everywhere I look there is. So yeah, we'll have a little look here guys and see what we can find. Oh. And Jackie's just found a nice little cotton reel ink. So lovely. So it's the second one we've had, isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. That's going in the bag. <laughs> okay guys, so I've just found this lovely glass stopper it's only the second one i've ever found dave's found a big one when we went down to dartmouth but i've just started and i think he's broken but i've just started to dig this one would have been a nice little cod bottle he's definitely broken but he's so pretty i think that one's coming back with us what does it say on there Let me put my glasses on and I can read. It says H Ma H Martin and Sons Salisbury. So that would have been a local bottle to here. Not complete, but still very pretty he's coming back so that's a bit of history we can look up so I'm just going to continue scraping around in this bit and see what else I can uncover I'll bring you back if I find anything else welcome back so uh, just still digging in this little area here making a nice little pile of broken pottery there's plenty to look at as Dave would call it a brown botty but it's a brown betty teapot lid and it's broken, but this would have been a pretty little pot, wouldn't it? I'm not bringing it home, but that's such a shame it's not complete. Still, on with the digging and hopefully a pipe bowl or two will come our way. <laughs> Just been scraping away, finding lots of broken things, but I have found this little clay marble. always the little things so we're going to move on to a couple of other spaces that we know of but uh, for all you people out there that like your broken dolls I've just found an ear would have been a china baby's doll's head uh, an old enamel dish Lots of broken glass, some pretty old bits of ornament, handles, there's a bit of a cup here, just over here, plenty of other bits, so bits of broken iron and very old melted shippums what's some mudlock motor shippums plate stoneware mom jars broken lots and lots and lots of broken bits of pottery none of that will be coming home with us to me with me today though because i'm looking for pipe bowls so far nothing but we will keep looking plenty of places to see bring it back if we find anything else
Just nice to have a little paddle, even if there's nothing else here. First bits of worm sign. Let's keep looking. Okay, what I found so far in the water. Bit of light. More bits of buttery. <laughs> Mostly plain, a little bit there, stripey, blue edging, plain, found this in the bank, found this in the bank, some glass, so there is worm sign here but it's all broken and very far between. But I will carry on looking and see if I can find anything else to show you. Oh, what's that under there? What's that? Oh. I did have a bit of a maker's mark on it, but I can't, can't quite see what that is. Not without my glasses on anyway. So yeah, I'll have a little route around in here and see if I can find any other very treasures just waiting to be found. Sign, very wonky neck, possibly onion or mallet Ooh, bottom. That'd be nice. Lovely, lovely wonky neck on that. There and a big lump of glass. Would have probably been from a serving dish. There. There we go. Where'd you find that? Interesting, Interesting here, yeah, yeah, so I've been looking, so I just found, took a picture of it rather than, I just found that close by. A lovely wonky. Oh, I might keep that actually. Yeah. That's a real nice wonky That one. is lovely. Look at him. Really on the wonk, isn't he? Do you want to put that in my bag? Okay. Look what I've just spotted, guys. <laughs> awesome, look at the shape of that. That is awesome. It's like a three-sided bottle. Um, can't see what it says on the bottom. There is writing there. Is that quite modern then? I don't know. There's writing all the way around the outside yeah. edge. On the bottom. Can't quite see what it's... Uh, oh, it's a pattern all around the edge. But there is writing right on the bottom. Well, that's coming home with us. Look at the shape of that. I know. Awesome. Let's give it, oh, look at that leech. <laughs> God, Jay, you can get rid of that. I didn't see that when I picked it up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. A little pop up here, too. He's full of stuff. It's a little screw top one, though, isn't it? I'm not sure. I don't have my glasses on. Yes, a little screw top. Do you want to take all, please? Or... I better oh. investigate this bit here then. It's a bit cleaner. Wow, nice. Three sided bottle. Mm. Oh, there's a big lump of glass on the side there. Let me spill it. Oh, so they. That would have been old. Yes, yeah, all wonky off centre. Yeah. Thick black glass. Are all the leeches off of this thing now? Yeah. Do you want to put this in my backpack? Yeah. Top. Uh, either a sauce or a, I don't know, camp coffee. A panel bottle. 
not your therapies aspect. It's a nice one though. Yeah. Well, Just let's found it over here. What's day sound? Oh, you know when it's all about the bottles of certain bottles. Oh. Hang on, I can't see you've come too close. That's an old onion. Even onion or mallet. It could bottle. be part of the one that we've just found a neck to. Yeah. Let's give it a clean. And let's see the Oh look at that. Nice. Can you see that? Yeah. Deep green. Look at all the bubbles in it. <laughs> yeah, I hope that adds to the light and you look. Wow. That's what the bottle is there. Onion, onion bottle. That is. Oh, amazing! What a brilliant find. Well, that's coming. I know it's only the broken. Stick bottle, it in the bag then. But that's coming.